Going to Mexico City for a women's conference was um, definitely a unique experience for me. I was just enraptured by what I learned and what I heard and what I saw about women from all over the world. At a time when there was a deep separation between the private sector and the public sector, between Wall Street and Washington, I wanted to help create this new financial structure for women's getting access to money and professionalism. Uh, most women uh, were, you know, functioned with money under their mattresses, money in their pockets, and through male voices. How could an economy become productive if, in fact, 51% of the workforce had no access to the tools of production? If you couldn't borrow money, how could you buy tools? How could you buy seeds and fertilizers? How do you really begin to get money into the hands of women? This was the first time that anyone had really talked like that in terms of women's role in the economy. We are trying to change a system so that the least developed could have access to the same tools and information that the most developed had in such a way that it was understood and could be shared on a global basis. A lot of that period of formation is the reason why Women's World Banking is still there today. And even though it took 30 years, it did set the basis for women becoming formal members of the economy and for ultimately they were being able to move from non-governmental organizations into formal financial institutions. Most people at the bottom are the ones that don't have a voice. And our idea was to turn it the other way. As one Ugandan woman said, we may be poor in our economy, but we are not poor in spirit.